So Justin, this is so cool because um, what I love about the documentary, we're gonna talk more about your life in just a second, but what I think is so great is you talked about how much you appreciate your parents and the fact that they recognized your passion for the arts and 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 let you or wanted you to go to HSPBA. That was a pivotal point for you, right? That was a huge point for me because my parents could have said, what's up with this weirdo? You know, uh, what's up with the way this kid thinks darker? Why does he um, feel so much? Why does he fall in love with everything he meets? But as I was growing up, they really truly saw when I sang them a song about depression and, 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 and suicidal thoughts at age 14, my mom goes, maybe, maybe we should listen and this is good because now we're getting to find out what's really going on in his heart. Justin, keep writing, we're gonna help you. We're gonna, we're gonna put you through a school so you can blossom and you can shine with this. And that, that was the best thing that could ever happen to me is have my dad and my mom love me the way they did. We all wanna be inspired, we wanna be touched, we wanna love. And music does that, doesn't it? It's a vessel for me to stay on this earth. It's so incredible. And you know what's so great? I mean, following your career and knowing what Blue October has basically evolved into, the documentary shows you performing in high school and then it flips to these huge arenas with people screaming, you know, you're the rock star, the big group. But yet this this documentary allowed you to peel the onion layer by layer and, and really show what you went through over the years. And at 14, did you know that this was depression? Did you know? Because at that time, we weren't really talking about depression, right? I knew something was up because I was also a cutter. I was cutting on myself and burning myself. So I knew something wasn't right. That's just not right. You know, uh, and I knew that, that I wasn't wired right. Nothing happened to me as a kid. Nothing happened that was like, oh my God, there's some crazy stuff in his life that made him be this, you know, it's just chemical imbalance. And as I got older, you know, things hit harder and these songs came out and I knew something was not right. But a part of me embraced it because, like I said before, I felt so much. I've always been this just overpassionate, bipolar, manic, in love with love, you know? And so if it didn't go my way, it would just crash me, you know? And um, yeah, but I, I'm just super glad I had this outlet. The documentary, of course, is called Get Back Up, and I think so many of us can relate to that. You know, it's not how you fall, it's how you get up. What do you think this documentary is not only doing for your fans, but those who are struggling with these inner demons? What I wanted to do with this documentary was, was very simple. I had people that showed me a way to recovery and showed me a way to sobriety, showed me a way to God, showed me a way to a beautiful life that I, I can't tell you how much I love it. I love my life. I, lo I love waking up every day and just being like, I have a wife that loves me. I have children that are healthy. And how did this happen? Well, it happened because of recovery. It happened because someone showed me how to do it. So I wanted to take the chance to make a documentary strictly for the people that were looking for a solution. I gave him an ultimatum that you have a choice. You can choose drugs or you can choose your family. Don't you think it's time to unlock the door? We are so appreciative of your story, Justin, and um, we're so excited. The new album is dropping, what, in September? Is that right for Blue October? Yep. The new album, September 18th, it's called This Is What I Live For. Uh, I, we just have so much going on and we're so grateful and so blessed that we're able to, to live such a good, positive life and create. I'm no longer Justin the musician, I'm Justin the creator because I can create anything, I can reach and do anything because of one thing, I stayed sober. I stayed sober, I listened, and I went and did what my wife told me to do and my mom told me to do. And, I, and, and today I love my life. I, there is a solution and it's out there if you want it bad enough. Okay, so real quick, HSPBA, yeah. your brother went to Waltrip, you swam at Waltrip because there was no sports at HSPBA. Have you been back to the hood? Have you seen the new school, man? Because the, the, the I, great building's insane. I have not seen the new school yet. I, I went by the old school before it closed down, I guess, but I have not been to the new school. Is it beautiful? It is. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And, um, and middle school? Where'd you go to middle school? Hamilton Middle School in the Heights. 
Okay, Hamilton. And then I went to Sinclair in Timber Grove for yep. elementary school. Awesome. That's crazy. Well, listen, I'm a Houston boy, baby. Yeah, and a little rapid fire for you, if you don't mind. Just a couple questions. Go for it. Um, okay, Whataburger or In N Out Burger? Whataburger. Come on. <laughs> okay. Dude. Queso and chips or chips and salsa? Queso and chips. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are we talking about? Like baseball, football? What are you? Dude, I'm an Astros fan. I am an Astros fan, but I'm also a Rockets fan. But the Texans did let me sing the national anthem uh, with George Bush standing next to me. So I've, I've got to support all Houston sports, straight up. But I did get to shoot a free throw at the Rockets game, and I made it. Oh! I mean, I'm an, I'm an Astros fan at heart, though. Nolan Ryan back in the day, Jose Cruz, okay. all that. But any Houston sports, I got you. I got you. Dustin, this was so amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Please thank tell your you. parents thank you and your mom for watching. And um, we love shining a spotlight on you. I love hearing your story and keep shining that bright light, dude. You're doing amazing stuff. And so are you, man. You're doing so awesome. And I'm honored. And if there's anything I can ever do for you or the station, please reach out. I'm always available to you guys, OK? Thank you. Don't forget us in September. You're coming to perform. I won't, girl. I'm going to come in and rock and roll. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> It was great right. meeting you, and hopefully we'll see each other soon. All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, I have to tell you, was such a fun time to sit down and chat with Justin. But his story, and I will tell you, he just celebrated eight years of sobriety. He talks about in the documentary about his intervention with his parents, his family, and friends, the band, everybody saying, this is it. You're either gone from our lives or and you take your struggles and things alone. And he said that wow. was the decision that I had to make, that uh, he hit rock bottom. And he, and he wants to talk about it because he knows others are dealing with it, struggling with it on a daily basis. So we know that you guys want to see the documentary, the documentary Get Back Up. It's powerful. It spans seven years of Furstenfeld's life. You can watch it online now. It was just released yesterday. We've shared a link on our website of HoustonLife.tv. He seems really cool. Can't wait to have him here in studio. We'll We'll be right back.